You can make you can strum the harp too. <laughs> oh, we've seen yeah, okay, we've seen this book before. You can strum the harp too. And I guess you could use it like to like lure guards. I mean see it even it makes a little ripple in the dark vision. Huh. I believe the piano was not actually invented until the nineteenth century in our history. So maybe that's Ah Sokoloth painting, three hundred coins. So maybe maybe that maybe that piano is whale powered as well somehow. Perhaps. Probably not. Probably not. But <laughs> it could. Maybe it's not a piano. Maybe it's like a harpsichord. Could be. Big one. Yeah, there's it's quite a big place. There's several walls of light set up. Yeah. Now, on the other side of that fire is the uh, Lord Regent's quarters. I'm not sure why the fireplace is open like that. It seems kind of dangerous. <laughs> well, maybe it's to heat too. I guess. Although, I imagine it would take a long time. The whole point of having a mason-backed fireplace is to redirect the heat into one room. Yeah. Not quite a silent stealth kill I was going for, but... Ah, luckily there's quick disposal right there. Yeah, this is the Lord Regent's own personal room. Alright, we've seen this one before. It's just about the... Soak a lot of fuel tanks. Your spiritual remedy. Rune in a box. Oh, my overseer. It's kind of a neat painting. Oh, a safe. Combination required. Here's his desk. A lot cleaner than mine. Oh, I don't know what what it is about desks, but I'm just so shit at keeping them clean and organized. Shit, did I forget to read it in this particular recording? Okay, apparent. I guess, I guess I did. But there is a letter. If if you sign the guest book at the boil party, oh, there is a there actually is a letter saying, "Sir, it's probably nothing, but someone si at the party, someone signed the guest book, Corvo Atano." Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we are now watching a different clip in which I disabled that thing earlier in it. So that's why that didn't kill me. That sounds like a familiar voice, huh? Please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier. His confession could be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. Alright, this is the non-lethal way to take down the Lord Regent. He totally you spilled that, like, not even knowing if you disregard him. Well, I'm carrying a blood-soaked knife and wearing a Doctor Doom mask, Nick. It's... Right, that's why I would wait until he agreed to spare me. Oh, that's true. But um, yeah, this is this is the non-lethal resolution. You um, you expose the Lord Regent's crimes, and then his own men arrest him. And un and unlike the unlike a lot of the other non-lethal resolutions, this one actually makes sense. Right. You know, a lot more sense than you know. I won't kill you. I'll just have you kidnapped and your tongues cut out, and you so you can be worked to death in your own silver mine or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I guess his his is more of a psychological break and a hum like humiliation sort of thing. What's that? Well, like he's look, like look at him now. He's paranoid. Yeah, he's falling Seen apart. His supporters disappear. Yeah. 
actually, we're, we're, we're going to run into a certain familiar f uh, to the outsider later, and he actually comments on the, the, uh, the, his mental state in his last days. Oh, 150 coins for that. Oh, nice. Confession audiograph. Dead drop. Lord Spymaster. We had a specific agreement, and I planned around it. The Royal Protector wasn't part of that agreement. You assured me that she and the girl would be alone, so the price of the job just went up. Send the coin to the alternate dead drop, or you can be sure we'll come calling. Dowd. Dowd, of course, is that leader of that assassin's group reputed to have mysterious powers. And so I guess they weren't expect they weren't expecting me to be there when they killed the Empress. So Yeah. Mm. Alright. Now Of course. Right. I think you actually do read the letter here. Maybe I do. Wait. Perhaps I should I should familiarize myself more with what's actually in these recordings before I Hold on a moment. So now we're going to find out just exactly what Lord Regent All right, yeah, we've seen this. Actually, I don't... Yeah. Now we're going to find out just exactly what his plan was. Why he killed the Empress. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city. To rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician continent, and let them take care of the poor dwarfs. The plan worked perfectly at first. But the rats, oh, it was as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and bred a sickening rate. Soon it didn't matter. Rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to the Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Bringing about the death of an Empress is not an easy thing. But it gave me the chance to attack the plague with some real authority. Quarantines, deportation of the sick, there's always some idiot woman searching for her wretched lost babe, or some sniveling workman searching for his missing wife. And then quarantine is broken. But you can see how my plan should have worked, would have worked, if everyone had just followed orders. Well, there it is. Ugh. Hiram Burroughs wanted to wipe out the uh, lower orders of society. Remember when we found? Remember when we thought we found that record saying that for some reason, the plague seemed to start not in the docks, where you would expect it to be if it came from overseas, but in the slums. Yeah, that's why it was intentionally planted there, essentially. <coughs> and, <coughs> but luck luckily for us, like Lord Lord Bro, he's he's like Nixon. He just records himself constantly, even when he's talking about committing crimes. So and now this is the high chaos playthrough. So... Right. Oh. See, this is what I'm talking about. And... This actually will have an effect later on. Because now he's not there to do the announcements anymore. Will it be like in Fallout 3? I've not played Fallout 3. Oh. There's a radio jockey in Fallout 3 who's really cool and really enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. And if you kill him, then he's replaced with his uh, assistant, mm -hmm. who speaks monotone, and she's like, uh, the world sucks. Thanks, asshole who killed my boss. <laughs> that, that was just me hitting the wrong button. Now...
quite a few guards out here. Yeah, you can see a guy there with his... There's, and there's some overseers with their hounds, too. Oops! Oh, and then I... That was... That was quite an embarrassing display, frankly. <laughs> Remember how I've, I've tried to assure people that I'm not, like, selectively... I don't want to give the impression that I'm really good through selective editing or whatever? Right. Yeah. Well. It's like how, uh... I can't pretend I'm good at any of the games I play on this channel. And another... Oh, and it clicks empty because I wasted so many taking that guy out. I remember what I said about bullet dr about like drop with the uh, incendiary. Yeah. Notice there's a definite arc. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Presumably they're heavier because they have to carry the incendiary charge. Right. But are they burning in the air? I think that yeah they are. You see like a fiery streak in the air when they go. Okay. So they're ignited before they hit. I can't help it, it says, oh, pistol explosive shot blueprints. I can't help notice it says General Tobias' quarters when this is clearly an office. I mean, I don't think it has a bed. It doesn't appear to have a bed or anything. Oh, he's a military man. Maybe he sleeps sitting up. That would make sense, I guess. Well, no, it wouldn't make sense, but by dishonor, by video game universe standards, why not? So yeah, I got that blueprint. And it... Ooh, concerns about the Royal Interrogator. General Tobias, I have to press you again, sir. The torture has been coming into the barracks at night. Last night, Corporal Husa woke up to find the freak leering at him in the dark. Other men have reported that personal items have gone mis missing, with odd things left in their place. Sanders said he found a bunch of teeth wrapped up in his ha handkerchief. Teeth! And Blyson found three painted rat heads on a string in his shaving kit. Whatever this is, it has to stop. The men are rattled, and I don't know how long I can keep them from going into that bastard's room and beating him to death in his sleep. I don't care what you call him. Executioner, torturer, royal interrogator, or bat-faced troll. He's got to stay out of the barracks. First Commander Gregory. So, interrogator. Not the most well-liked man, it seems. Hmm. Oh, here's something else. Here's something good. This is after you, you drop down a level... You can kill it. There's a guy. If you there's this overseer like at prayer, and you can drop you can drop kill him if you want to. And then you find a uh, this book nearby. All right. Okay. It says, Influences of the outsider, brother. With an anxious heart, I respond to your letter. If your suspicion is true, I have grave misgivings about those presiding over Dunwall Tower. I have only recently resolved my disagreement with the Abbey, and it has come upon me as a surprise that some are lobbying for me to take up the mantle of high overseer. But despite all that is going on, I hope to advise you personally in this matter. Last time you wrote, you speculated that the mute who serves as torture within Dunwall Tower might be a follower of the Outsider. He has an odd countenance, his tongue is twisted and he cannot speak, and a wolf hound follows him about. Add to this the incomprehensible groaning and the litany of repeated whispers you hear coming from his chambers at night, and it seems certain. At first I found it hard to believe. How could one I admire so, such as the Lord Regent, allow this to go unchecked within his own house? Surely he must respect the seven strictures. But now I see the pieces arranged before me. I must tell you, it aligns with a vision experienced by one of our sisters from the oracular order, oracular sect. Coming to me in the night, she spoke. Silence inflicts pain, and a hound's shadow follows the puppet of the outsider. Remember, they mentioned before the oracular order, which appears yeah. to be the uh, female counterpart of the outsiders or something. Uh, not the outsiders, the overseers. Right. And they prophesy somehow. Your position at the tower has been of great use to our, our order, and there is no shame in reporting back to me. You are an overseer, first and foremost and it is your sole duty to protect the world of men from the malevolent influences of the outsider. Tell no others of this and await my instructions. I must ponder how high up into Dunwall Tower this corruption has spread. Martin. Interesting. So perhaps that's what led to him, you know, ending up, you know, becoming... 
coming to join our cons the Loyalist Conspiracy. Hmm. Finding out that the, uh... The Royal Torturer is apparently an outsider cultist, and the Regent doesn't really seem to care. Yeah, there's a bit of action here, as you can see. <laughs> 